in the back of the classroom afraid to speak up. She pulls awkwardly at her extra loose khaki cargo pants. She doesn't want the boys to notice her. James finds himself in the back of the classroom. His baseball cap casts a shadow on his pimple-stained forehead. A black shirt hangs on his broad shoulders. But no one ever noticed him. Melissa, the teacher asks. And she says nothing because she is not here. And Melissa has never been here. Because Melissa is just some abstract jumble of syllables that doesn't fit her position. She's not what she seems. She doesn't want to have to explain to her mother for the 232nd time. And Melissa has been tugging his breath steadily growing for three years now. Been using duct tape to press them down and mold them back to pecs. She just wishes that people would understand that at birth, her genitals didn't know which way to grow. Mad at God who couldn't leave a message directly to her own room, that they should produce more testosterone. The only person who understands her is James. And they've been playmates since the age of four, around the time girls notice boys. Boys notice girls. See, James's family wanted daughters instead of sons. And Melissa was always like that male beetle. Melissa, Melissa, where is she? Sometimes she wishes she could rip the skin out of her back. And every moment of every day, he goes back to the place of a danger. Melissa! And she stands to her feet, wanting to say, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs>